Art is something very profound. It's another form of communication, right? It's it's a form of communication. Maybe you can communicate some things that you're you can't or just aren't comfortable communicating in words. And it's something really special that um, I can use to reach people. I'm Masha Lakasova. I'm 19 years old, and I'm a violinist. It really became a part of me. I don't even know how to explain what exactly. Um, I just fell in love with music, and violin is what I use to express myself. When I found out I won the Stelberg Award, um, I was kind of in shock. It felt very surreal. The Stelberg is a very prestigious competition. I mean, I'm honored to have it on my bio now. And um, it was so fun to come to Kalamazoo. And playing with the Kalamazoo Junior Symphony Orchestra has been so thrilling. I mean, the kids are so great. They're so supportive. It's been so fun for me. To me, a really great or special performance is when you don't just play it the way it goes. And what I mean by that is kind of just, you know, relying on muscle memory and just playing through from beginning to end, but really being in the moment, every single moment that you're on stage. I was always taught that if I feel it for real, genuinely, not artificially, then the audience will too. Even if just one person was touched by my performance, then it was worth it. Really the most important driving force in becoming a musician, or, or even just learning music, is loving it. Good morning and welcome to the second recital of our third annual Saturdays with the Stolberg. I'm Ann Fergerman and I'm a board member and currently serving as president-elect. Before introducing today's guest artist, I'd like to encourage you to place the following dates on your calendars. Next Saturday, November 19, for the last of our three Saturdays with the Stolberg for this year, and May 19 and 20, 2023 for next year's competition in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Plato once said, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. With that in mind, we hope you'll consider taking a few minutes of your time following today's recital to make a contribution to support this outstanding and highly regarded string competition that brings communities together to enjoy wonderful performances from talented string musicians with a bright future ahead of them. Just go to stolberg.org. Now, what you've all been waiting for. Today, we are thrilled to feature 2016 Stolberg gold medalist Daniel Haas. An Israeli-Canadian cellist, Daniel also was the 2016 winner of the Canada Council for the Arts Michael Measures Prize, the 2019 winner of the Juilliard Cello Concerto Competition, and the 2021 Silva Gelber Music Foundation Award winner. Daniel is a sought-after chamber musician in New York City. And since 2019, he has served as the principal cellist of the Philadelphia-based orchestra, Symphony in C. In addition to his love for performing, Daniel is a prolific composer and songwriter. Since 2017, Daniel has taught a growing number of private students, and yet he still finds time for community outreach. He's a weekly performer for Concerts in Motion, a nonprofit organization bringing live house concerts to the elderly and socially isolated individuals throughout New York City. Daniel is an alum of the Promo Music Program. He graduated from Juilliard in 2017 as a recipient of the Kovner Fellowship and in 2021 with a master's degree. And now, 
We hope you'll grab a cup of coffee or tea and settle in for an amazing recital. Hello, this is Daniel Haas. I'm very excited to participate in the Stolberg Alumni Recital Series. I think back to the competition often. I did it in 2016, and of course it was a nerve-wracking experience, but it uh, definitely turned out to be a very exciting and um, beneficial uh, experience overall for me, no doubt, and I think back to it very fondly. These days, I'm performing a lot in New York City, I'm here in my backyard in Brooklyn, and I am also composing a fair amount. I've recently had a few um, compositions of mine premiered, including a piece for cello and piano that I wrote for Glenn Gould's 90th birthday celebration in Toronto, which was a really special experience. I hadn't written a piece that was sort of dedicated to a particular person or, or based on a particular thing before. And uh, it was very inspiring to research Gould and, and listen to some lesser known pieces that he really uh, loved to play. And uh, another thing is my um, string quartet that I play with in New York City called the Renaissance String Quartet. And we're currently learning and rehearsing um, my first string quartet that I wrote last summer. It's proving to be quite a challenging endeavor, but we're having a lot of fun with it and hopefully we'll be performing it very soon. So thanks again to Stahlberg and I hope you enjoy.